Are you struggling to keep track of your hires? Ever had a manager who thought he could hire five people, but the real number was actually two? In this video, I'll guide you through building a simple yet automated hiring plan in Microsoft Excel. Stick around until the end where I'll introduce you to the Sheetcast tool, making the entire process as easy as pie. Here we're going to start to build our foundational blocks of our hiring plan. So basically all these columns, the first name, the last name, etc. And then we're going to start to put the date that we want to start our hiring plan for. In this specific case, we're going to start on January 31st. So we use the date function. And then for the next month, we use the end of month function and we just drag the function up to 2025. Then we need to format our dates, click on control one, and we're going to select the month and the year. So our dates look like this. Then we're going to enter random employee information just to show you the behavior of this hiring plan. Put random department, we put a salary, then we're gonna enter fringe benefits and a function on the salary and the fringe benefits just for budgeting purposes then we want to set up the start date then we're going to set up the status we have three status active inactive and to hire if there is no full name we're going to put that this employee is to hire because we don't know his name yet and then if there is an end date we are going to put this employee as inactive else we are going to put that there is an active status which means that there is a full name and no end date so yes we have an employee that is active yay <laughs> Now let's try our status. If we add an end date, it puts inactive. And then if we remove the full name, let's see the status. Oh yes, it says to hire. For the first name and last name, I'm going to use the text before and text after functions. So when we add a new employee, we just have to add the full name and nothing else. Equal text after, open the parenthesis, select the full name, comma, open the quotation marks and then hit space, which is the delimiter, and then close the quotation marks. My last name will be whatever is after the space. Sometimes I want to filter my hiring plan by year to know how many employees I hire in a specific year. Equal text, select your date, comma, then open the quotation marks and put YYY into it four times. I'm going to set up a conditional formatting based on my status. I'm going to click on my status, click on conditional formatting, new rule, and then use a formula to determine which cells to format. Format values where this formula is through. I want to select my cell I2, which is the status, equal active, and then I'm going to click on format. I'm going to go in fill, and I want it green whenever my status is active. Going to click OK and then click OK again. I'm going to go back in conditional formatting. I'm going to manage the rules. And what I want to change here is that it, I want it to be applied to the old row. So I'm just going to select applies to, select from column A to L, and then click apply. Here we go. We have the whole row that becomes green whenever the status is active. I need to change something else though. Let's edit the rule and make sure that here I only have one dollar signs actually. I want the column I to be locked but not the row so I'm going to remove the second dollar sign. I'm going to do OK. I will duplicate the rule and I will edit the rule to build it for inactive as well. I'll put inactive here. I'll go into format. I want it gray then click OK and then click OK and then we're going to duplicate the rule and do the same things for to hire and we're going to put it in pink. Now let's try it. If I remove my full name it becomes pink and if I add an end date it becomes gray. I'll show you the behavior of the if function I created starting in column M. I won't explain it all because it's rather a complex function, but feel free to download the template in the comments and description below. So what it does is that it will put a number one for every month that is included between the start date and the end date. This will be useful for our dashboard or for budgeting purposes if we want to calculate the salary by month. 
Then we need to convert our data to a table, select all your data, go into insert and then click on table. This will help us making sure our data sticks together and that we can add employees easily. Here we have our final product. So we can filter by employee status if we only want the active employees or add an end date. And as you can see, it will switch to gray and the status will be inactive. And there will be a little zero starting on the month of the end date. Then we have a add an employee button. You put in your data in there. You click OK. And then it's going to add in the hiring plan, the new employee on line 11 there. Then we made a little cute dashboard that if we only refresh our pivot table after having added an employee, you will see that our finance employee that we just added will appear as an orange line on the chart to the right there. So here we are, we have a dashboard and a really cute hiring plan. But that's not all. You don't really like to play into Excel or you're afraid of breaking every formula. I will show you a tool that transforms any Excel worksheet into a web app. It is called Sheetcast. And here we are, we have our hiring plan right here that we have built into Sheetcast. So we have basically the same Excel spreadsheet or dashboard that we had earlier, and it is very easy to play with. We can go here into the dashboard section and then add new employees. I'll put in my employee, David 14 department. You go with the drop down menu and then add the salary and then you put the start date and it has literally the same, same behavior as an Excel spreadsheet and then you save it. And then you go back to your dashboard and here we are. Look at this line, David Fortin in finance that has been added to our Sheetcast dashboard. In the video right here, I'm showing you how to build a simple automated client follow-up system in Microsoft Excel.